Let's talk about your brother being out. Oh, Ooh, bro. Yeah, he's really? free! I thought he was going to be posted I, up here with you. Oh, I don't even know this. He's, he's in the free. halfway you house, feel right? Me? Let's nah, go. You know what I'm saying? Brother, Shout out to your brother, man. My brother already got a, um, he already got a job. You know what I'm he saying? He got a job. Is it at Community Clips? Nah. <laughs> you know, and hey, 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 you want to know the crazy thing about that? My brother's on um, high gang uh, profile parole. So he can't be around no gang stuff. He can't rock no no gang attire. Like he any, can't work for Community Clips? No, so I, I he can't. He can't even be around you like that? Don't say that. But <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't want to even take the risk of bringing him on community, bro, mm. for him to actually get violated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because all he got to do is say one if he well, is. going to be on it's that high-risk parole. Um, I think they, they can talk about it after like a year or two. Uh, but he's on high. He's on high risk parole for yeah. Uh, three years. Because all right, like I mean, we talked about this before uh, he got out and everything. But I think there's a lot to be said for letting somebody come out and like slowly get their footing. Because it's like you're mm -hmm. coming from the most dangerous, the most cutthroat, the most deadly place on fucking earth. Realistically, almost after ten years, bro. Ten years is not. Yeah, it's not. You're like you're away for six months, in which I would assume you kind of come back relatively normal. You ten years, you're institutionalized, like. If I were you, I would give him a nice long mm. stretch of time to get used to all the shit. And I think if you're in the club night one out of there, no, it's probably not. Yeah, like because somebody's gonna bump into you on some shit where in prison you gotta fucking slice them open. And no, it's like you're in the fucking club in L.A. With like a normal person, you have to just let shit go. You don't want to put him in that position, and especially being drunk in the club or some shit. Oh lord. And he yeah. might he might have curfew. They they trying yeah. to decide now too. But you know the 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 crazy thing. About everything is like last week, y'all know, but the the fans didn't know. Yeah, I was this. I was really bummed. So my brother had another case that they were trying to put on him before his release. So like, yeah, I didn't understand that because they you should have ran that concurrent. They ran they run it concurrent, but they picked it up two days before that he got released. So they were going <laughs> to transfer him to the county. You don't got to tell us what, but was it some really serious shit? It was uh, it was another robbery. <laughs> but was it something that they already would have known about? Yes. I mean, that seems really fucked That's up. That's fucked yeah, up. Like how the, and, okay, he was down for 10 years. Statue of limitations on almost everything is less than 10 years, right? And that's, and that's basically what happened was, like, they were like, nah, this shit have ran concurrent. But the day before, and that was, uh, that was last week, the day before, we found out that he was about to get released, like, for sure, for sure. He's like, I'm about to be released Friday. The next fucking day, they said, nope, they're going to send him to the county and he's going to have to fight this other case. Whole family last week, we was bummed, bro. And even my brother, my brother was like, man, I, I got so anxious of getting out. Now they about to send me back to the county. And if you know the county is a whole different monster. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm, but, good point. But, the, you, but you know what? Like, it was, bro, I, I filmed the whole thing. I'm going to put that shit out soon. Like. I took my, I, I, me, my brother, and my sister, we went to go pick him up, like a three hour drive. You know what I mean? I took him to first meal and I found out that Wingstop has a sandwich from him. I didn't know this. A sandwich? Yes. That's what he wanted? When he got out, I said, what's the first shit you want to eat? He said, he wants a sandwich from Wingstop. I said, nigga, they ain't got no sandwiches at Wingstop. And he was like, yes, they do. And we were sitting there arguing back and forth like, you like he ain't never left. I'm like, nigga, I eat Wingstop. There ain't no sandwich. Google the shit. Wingstop has a sandwich that they're testing right now. Wow. What do they do? Do they just fill it up with fucking... I, I don't know. And if they're just Chick-fil-A test... got chicken wings. Bro, if they're just testing it, how the hell do you know about it? He seen the commercial, he said. Oh, really? <laughs> he seen, but I took him to In-N-Out. You feel me? He was like, man, this shit's crazy. But it was a, uh, it was a real dope moment because... You know, like I said before, growing up, I was bumming it at my granny house. You know what I'm saying? So people are used to me not having no fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Not doing shit. And my brother comes home. And when I say I had almost my whole family, like immediate family, at my house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To see my little brother. My dad and my mom. How old is he? Uh, 30 now. Damn. He yeah. went in at 20? Yeah. After doing a year for a case. What the so fuck? his whole twenties, he been incarcerated. That's crazy. That's cold. Man. Cold. But my bro, like it. It was crazy because I had like fifty people at my crib, bro. And like when my grandma died, she was the hub. Before she died, everybody used to go to her house. Gumbo's on, you know, what I'm saying Christmas time and stuff. Since my granny died, we didn't have no place like that. And to have everybody, you felt like that was the hub, bro. It was the hub. It came, it, bro. My dad came over. Did you bro. cry? Bro I, bro, I was emotional as hell. You know, it, it was crazy too because, bro. You're soaking it all in. Yeah, bro, because my dad, like, 
my since I've been living in the valley, and this ain't nothing against him, but my dad ain't never came over. You right. feel me? And a part of the reason why too, he ain't never came over because me and him throughout the years, I've always had like a sour relationship. So it'd be like back and forth though. But I invited my dad to come over with my brother, bro. My dad walked upstairs, bro. He's seen all my uncles and aunties. He's seen my, you know, he's seen his grandchildren. He's seen everybody in there. And it was a it was a big release for him. He hugged my brother and nigga, my dad, like he started walking away and I seen it in his eyes. He walked downstairs, bro. My dad started boo-hooing, crying, just really just broke down. You feel me? Just like really, really broke down. He had a real- It wasn't like on a intervention, right? No, nah, it wasn't no intervention. It was like no, real. I mean, no, I don't <laughs> mean no. Nah, but- but he Not just, to make light. He just couldn't believe. He was like, damn, like, my son is home. My son, I'm at my son's house. You know what I'm saying? There's all this family around and shit like that. And you know what I mean? He texted me the next day and he was just like, you have a beautiful home. Like, I'm proud of you. Um, he's like, I ain't never really had a father figure and I'm I'm sorry. And, I, you know, I'd say to him, I told him, Pop, I said, Pop, you don't, it's not about the past. If you want to be a good father, you can start today. And it don't matter about the past. You did good by my brother. You feel me? You taking care of my baby brother right now. And even right now, my little brother's parole at his house. You know what I'm saying? So he's taking the steps forward to try to, you know, rewrite the past and stuff like that. And I respect that as a man. Like, that shit was, bro, that, it, was, it was a dope moment, bro. So it's like now everybody's like, we want to do Thanksgiving and we want to have family events at your crib and stuff. So all that shit did, bro, it just made me want to work harder, be better and, you know, being able, I'm just, I just thank God that I'm able to provide for my family, my little brother home. I've been happy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Real shit. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.